Okay, so now we're back to how to study for the AFK. Um, you must identify your weak points. Okay, so I guess everybody understands this, but there's a way to do this, right? Um, for example, uh, weak points doesn't necessarily mean the difficult things, right? It has to mean the difficult thing for you, right? For you specifically. So how do you do this? Read, give time to forget, and then read again. So you want this, okay? Uh, I, I follow this strategy. Reading something five times over five months. So let's say you split, you read something once a month. So five times over five months is better than reading it five times in five minutes. Okay, so if, you, if you're reading a, a certain card from the decks or you're reading our scholar's book, right? You're reading, you're reading, you're reading. Um, there's a paragraph here. Okay, you kept rereading it, rereading it, rereading it, rereading it. That doesn't help as much as, okay, read it twice maybe now. Keep moving on, move forward. Remember the train, move forward. And then maybe after a week or a month or you come back and you read it again. And then after you come back, that is better for retaining information than trying to master it from your first read. You could never master it from your first read. You will never remember 100% of what you read on your first time, no matter how much time you spend on it. So if you spend three hours on this page, you're not going to remember 100%. Your brain has to, it needs time to build that long-term memory. It needs to sleep. You need to forget it because another way of thinking of it, you're, you, you're bringing the information in your brain, right? So information A is coming, it's in your brain now. It's in your, it's somewhere there. You stored something, but now you need to practice finding it. And that's what we help you do as well with the way we ask questions in pharma. So you need to, and, and the more you practice recalling the information, the more easier it is to recall the information instantly when you need it, okay? And it's hard to recall information without a trigger. So you need to make a trigger. A trigger means maybe a question uh, or a word. So questions trigger the information, okay? So what I recommend is go through 15 pages quickly, then read them over again. That is better than reading one page over and over again. So you know, go through 15 pages, maybe then go back. A technique I actually used while I was studying is I took 10 cards and I promised myself that I would read these 10 cards uh, once each only. So I'd read once. I'll, uh, and I already had questions made and things on them. So they were already triggered uh, with, I already had like little trigger points. So I read them once. And then I come back and review them quickly and see what I remember. And then I would be surprised. Wow, I remember more than I thought from just reading once. So isn't that interesting? What happens is that you read it once. Now, from your first reading, you feel you need to test yourself. So you don't have confidence that you remembered, right? So what you do is you go like, how do I test myself now? Let me read it again. And then you need to put some sort of system to test that you remembered, right? And if you do that with each card, it just takes a lot of time. So what I noticed is that reading it once helped me even with memory. So I don't need to put the system to test, you know? Um, obviously, the, the, you might need to do that a little bit, depends. But what I used to do is read it once, read it once, read it once, and then come back and then test my system um, because that way I actually, uh, it just, it just saved time, okay? Creating questions are good triggers as well. Okay, so how do you study on your first time? Oh, I'm still seeing a, a question. How much will I? Oh, I was hoping it looked like how much will I will I learn <laughs> in the course? <laughs> how much will I learn? But also, uh, I answered that question already. The earn one. Um, so how to study first time? Read and you will forget. This is how you have to, you have to have this mindset, okay? Don't feel bad about forgetting. Um, you will forget, you will. Uh, so read and, you, and just know that you're gonna forget some stuff, that's fine. Don't feel depressed, everybody's like this. Everybody's the same. So, so since you already know that you're gonna forget some stuff, try to read the first reading quickly. Just try to get through it. The first reading is just like getting to know the material. You're just like identifying, you know, what's, what's inside here, what's inside this material. You're just figuring it out. Try to understand what you can. Try to learn it. You know, uh, 
okay, this is what, there's a table here about this. Good, I have, I know what this table is now. Something like that, right? Build your table of contents, right? So you're trying to figure out what's inside. Oh, we're learning about cysts, then mucosal lesions, then the mucosal lesions, this and that, right? Okay, now obviously this is if you're not with the course. If you're with the course, the lecture itself is kind of like your first reading, right? Plus understanding it. So uh, this the, the course will speed up the process so much. Now, it's your second time, if you're on your own, uh, now you're going to try to learn again and read. But now you're going to see, oh, let me see, what's, what seems like new to me here? Is there things that I remember? And what things seem like I never read them before? So you want to try to highlight those things a little bit in your head that, oh, this looks new. And you can start creating questions about these new things, okay? Um, so that you could uh, create questions. So you go like, okay, well, let me create a question about this sentence here. So that when I see it next time, when I come to this card next time, I'll read the question to see if I know the answer. So a good strategy is that you place a system in your second time, you place an evaluating system. Right? You create this on your second read so that on your third reading, you don't read, you go straight to the system. This saves so much time later on, okay? Um, because if you if you need to read every single time the whole card, plus evaluate yourself every time you come to read, okay, so if, if the Dental Dex Part 2 took you eight months the first time, it's just going to take you eight months the last time as well. The same content is there. It's still going to take you time to read it. Um, and you don't want to review, you need to review, I was able to read the entire decks in two weeks before my exam, or three, okay? Why? Because I created a, an evaluating system where, uh, and I eliminated, I'm going to show you what that means, eliminated things so that there's less to read, so I was able to finish the entire decks in three weeks with the questions. Okay, what's released? So, so when you get to your third time, you want to use the questions you created or take a peek at the card and see if you can remember any information. So you're trying to evaluate yourself now. So you're trying to trigger and see, will you remember anything? Now, if there's things you remember here, I think they might have became, I call it raw information or common to you. So let's say penicillin is bactericidal. I mean, I don't need to read that again. I already know that. So, so I don't need to waste time reading it. So you need to figure out which information you're forgetting and which ones each person, uh, and this is different for each person. So which one, which information you're forgetting, which one you're, it's easy to you now. And you want to cross out things that are easy and pointless and keep the things that you forget so that you can review them on your last reading. This will make your final reading more efficient.